I'm going to start by applying my foundation and concealer and we're not going for a natural look here so don't be afraid to pack it on. I'm going for kind of a flawless, almost plasticky looking face. So I'm using my light reflective concealer to kind of highlight my face as well. So now applying some eyeshadow base and afterwards I'm going in with my jumbo eye pencil in Milk, which is a white color, and this is going to be the base for my eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using these three eye dusts from Sleek, and I'm going to start with the blue one on a fluffy blending brush, and I'm just going to pop that onto my crease. Then I'm going to apply the shimmery green color on the moving parts of my eyelid. Now taking this purple Maybelline color tattoo, I am going to make a line underneath my lower lash line and I'm going to extend it both outward and inward from my eyes. And then I'm going in with the purple eye dust from Sleek and just placing that in my crease to deepen up the look a little bit. So blend it out. And next I'm going to take this teal color from my Sigma Paris palette and just pop that over the green. And I'm going to take the highlight color from that palette and apply that underneath my brow bone and also on the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm going to do my eyebrows using my Sigma Bear palette. So next I am applying a net over my face and going over that with some blue eyeshadow. And this is going to create kind of a scaly effect. And I'm just blending all the colors together to create a pretty gradient scale effect. So next I'm going to take these false eyelashes and some rhinestones and I'm going, actually going to place some rhinestones on the eyelashes before I apply them onto my eyes. So now I'm going in with the rhinestones and also applying those here and there on my face, wherever I think they will look nice. Then the very last thing is the lips. I'm going in with a little bit of that green and a little bit of that purple eyeshadow to finish it off. 